For example, too, the population of bees in Miss Mason's backyard is increasing exponentially. On November 1st, there are 20 bees. On November 11th, there are 100 bees. How many bees will there be on November 21st? Okay. So again, we have an exponential problem. We are told that, and we can go ahead, let time equals zero be November 1st. Well, then our initial amount is 20 Bs. We also know that when x equals 10, we'll say that x is days, then a equals 100. So what we want to do is plug these values in to solve for r first. This is a two-step problem because we need to solve for r. We get 100 equals 20 times 1 plus or minus r to the 10th. 5 equals 1 plus or minus r to the 10th. 1 plus or minus r equals and for right now, we're just going to write plus r because that really does work. As long as we remember that if we end up with a negative value, that means we're decreasing. So 1 plus r equals 5 to the 1 tenth, which is... And please, when you're entering this into your calculator, remember to put parentheses around that 1 tenth. Otherwise, your calculator will read it as 5 divided by 10. Well, 5 to the 1 tenth is 1.175. So R is 0 0.175. This means the bees are increasing by 17.5% every day. Okay, that was part one. For part two, we're gonna use the R that we found. So we have R equals 0 0.175. We have the same initial amount of 20 bees but now we want to know how many there will be on November 21st. How many there will be 20 days after November 1st? We're solving for that amount. We get A equals 100 times 1.175 to the 20th. A equals 100 times Twenty five point one six three A equals two hundred fifty one point sixty three. Or no, I'm sorry, two thousand five hundred and six point three. Or we can round and say that we have two thousand five hundred and sixteen Bs. Ah, uh, poor Miss Mason. Those are your standard exponential problems. In the top one, we looked at a problem that had a half-life and also has a decreasing rate, which makes R negative. Second one, we looked at an increasing rate, which makes R positive. Make sure that these make sense. These are your basic exponential problems. Chances are you're going to use this equation. The next one we're going to talk about is a bank problem. If you're ready for that, go on to the next video. Otherwise, review these two videos.